Mm. Here we are in Kapera Bushlands, a very underutilised park. In fact, um, the car park at the moment only has two cars in it, so this entire park only has two people. And yeah, as you can probably see, it's quite vast. The reason it's not popular, I guess, is because the hills are quite steep. And it's also dirt. You can see here how steep this path is, or maybe you can't see with the camera, but it's steep enough that you can't walk down, you have to slide down on your ass. This is the perfect habitat for spotting koalas. Uh, they are extremely difficult to spot. So these are the sort of trees that they eat anyway, the eucalyptus. Yes, I'm coming. Come on, grass boy. Okay, we're descending off the top of the, I wouldn't call it a mountain, but a large hill. So, it's all the way down to the car now. It's good it's been raining, you know, because if it was dry, we wouldn't be able to run down this at all. Contrary to popular belief, dry trails, especially the dirt we got here, is extremely slippery when it's dry. Someone's tired. Did you enjoy your walk today? Yes, Daddy, I did. You want to go home and eat? Are you hungry? You are? Okay. Let's go home. Let's go eat. Probably smell something again. Last time I came down here, this place was dirt. We've been getting a lot of flooding lately, so everything's bloomed and everything's green again. So now you can see how big this park is. Back before you see in the distance is the end of the park. Look at that view over there. And look at that lovely view up there. How ugly.
it must be some sort of animals here because uh, Jack has tried to go into the bush a number of times and you, you can tell by his posture that he, he smells something he wants to go investigate so and we've heard noises but we just have no idea what it is in the bush but it's something fairly big could be a large bird or a fox maybe Okay, the last leg now. And it doesn't, the camera doesn't show how steep this actually is. So as you saw a minute ago, it's, I need to really watch where I'm putting my feet, otherwise I'll fall over.